Hi friends, in this video let us solve transient response related question asked in GATE 2008 ECE paper. The question is, the following series RLC circuit with zero initial condition is excited by a unit impulse function del of t. For t greater than zero, the output voltage Vc of t. So they ask Vc of t for this circuit for t greater than zero, input is del of t. They have given one more problem, for t greater than zero, what is the voltage across the capacitor? Oh, sorry, resistor. So they ask both the things in GATE 2008 EC paper. Right, so I have read on the circuit. Let us see here. Here RLC it is what they have given. So first I want to solve this problem by using Laplace transform. So let us take the subdivision 1. Laplace transform of del of t is 1. We know Laplace transform of impulse is, impulse is 1. 1 is simply 1, for inductor it is L, for S it is, S for inductor it is 1 by S for capacitor. Now what I do, I apply voltage divider. Okay, similarly for VCT, Laplace transform is, it is VC of S. So I find VC of S, from that I find VCT. VC of S is output voltage. I applied voltage uh, divider rule across this capacitor. So VC of S is equal to total input voltage V i of S into particular resistor. Here it is capacitor. So 1 by S divided by total resistor. It is 1 plus S plus 1 by S since all the three are in series. So V i of S is nothing but 1. So it is 1 by S divided by 1 plus S by 1 by S. So if I simplify this, it will be equal to 1 by S squared plus S plus 1. So what will happen, I want to simplify this because I have to take inverse Laplace transform. So I, what I do, I split this into two part. What is the thing? I split into 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Right? I want. So this will be, this part will be equal to 1 by S plus 1 by 2 whole square. This will be equal to root 3 by 2 square clear so this is 1 by a squared plus a squared format so it is root 3 by 2 is here right so what I need to do it is 1 by a square so I need here also root 3 by 2 okay I want a here so what I do so I multiply and divide by root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 right into 1 by root 3 by 2 divided by s plus 1 by 2 square plus root 3 by 2. So this 1 by root 3 by 2 will become 2 by root 3. This is a by s square plus a square. So we see after I take inverse Laplace transform. So a by s square plus a square is equal to sine root 3 by 2 into t. Fine. And S plus A whole squared will be replaced by E power minus 1 by 2 to T as per time shifting property of Laplace transform. Time shifting property of Laplace transform. So Vc of T is equal to 2 by root 3 E power minus 1 by 2 T sine root 3 by 2 T. So where is the option? So let us go and check. Uh, the option is 2 by root 3. Where is 2 by root 3? Power minus t by 2 sine root 3 by 2. Option D is a right answer. Okay. And the next problem is I have to use the same method to find voltage across the capacitor. So what is the only thing we have to do? I want to find voltage across the in sorry resistor. So V R of S that is equal to V I have a total voltage by particular resistor 1 divided by total resistance. So it is S plus 1 plus 1 by S. So if I simplify what I get is S by S squared plus S plus 1. Okay. So this I simplified already. So what I get is S plus 1 by 2 whole square here root 3 by 2 whole square that we did in the previous problem. Okay. So here I have in numerator S. Yes. So here I cannot make it as a sign format. I have to make it as cos format. So what I do, uh, I add 
add and uh, subtract 1 by 2 fine okay so it will be equal to plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 okay so if i simplify this what i get is plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 i add so it will be s plus 1 by 2 divided by s plus 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square this minus 1 by 2 take outside it is s plus 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square okay so what will happen it is simple s by s plus s square plus a square format so uh, it will be cos root 3 by 2 t it is s plus 1 by 2 so it will be e power minus 1 by 2 t this part this is part is 1 by 2 this is uh, v r of t right what i do it is root 3 by 2 so i multiply and divide by root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 into 1 by root 3 by 2 so what will happen it will become 2 by root 3 this will be sin root 3 by 2 t if i take in mass law place so if i simplify it will be e power minus t by 2 cos root 3 by 2 t minus 1 by root 3 e okay here also s plus 1 by 2 is there so it is e power minus 1 by 2 t so e power minus t by 2 sin root 3 by 2 t so e power minus t by 2 i take it outside e power minus t by 2 cos root 3 by 2 t minus 1 by root 3 sin root 3 by 2 t so which option is matching for that it is v r of t so e power minus t by 2 cos root 3 minus 1 by root 3 okay e power minus uh, e power minus t by 2 cos root 3 by 2 t minus 1 by 3 root 3 by 2 t so option b is matching thank you